Brian, and today I want to show you the EasyScanIt software created for Sage 50 Accounting. This software has several components. It has the ability to receive purchase orders on a handheld device, the ability to receive sales orders, the ability to do a physical inventory count, along with providing you variance reports and posting those adjustments and variances back into Sage 50. You also have the ability to print barcode labels using the EasyScanIt software. So let's get started. Just order number and actually copying it to a new PO. I'm going to go ahead and assign it PO number 1035. Those of you who are familiar with Sage 50 know that you can actually print the purchase order and the purchase order gets assigned the number gets assigned at the time when you print it. I'm also going to go into the first line item on the purchase order and I'm going to change the cost to $19.75 and I'm going to drop to the last line item of the purchase order and I'm going to include a new item on this purchase order. And then I'm going to create another new one by hand. I don't have to copy POs if I don't want to, and most of us probably don't. I'm just going to include one line item on this purchase order, and you'll notice the system automatically assigns it PO number 1036. Scan it software. We've included the ability for you to use and manage serialized inventory items as a part of your receipts and invoices shipments out to your clients. You'll notice we have an item called tractor. The description is lawnmower, and it's a serialized item. Any new vendors or any changes to your vendor information, along with any new inventory items and changes to those inventory items, gets transferred and automatically updated to your handheld device. We have a purchase order number 1003. We've decided that we no longer need this purchase order. So I'm going to go ahead and using Sage 50 feature close PO, mark this purchase order to be closed. We're not going to receive any or all of the purchase order and it's no longer needed as an open purchase order. To working with on your Sage 50 purchase order window get transferred to the EasyScanIt software for receiving. The exceptions to that are the GL account and the per unit price. All of these fields are available for viewing. The only thing that can be recorded in the handheld are actual quantity received against the individual line items that you've created on your purchase orders. Software. You can optionally turn on the ability to receive all line items, which creates a button on the receive purchase order window on the handheld. That's in case you have big purchase orders. That way you can receive the entire purchase order just like you can in Sage 50 and go to the individual line items and modify the quantities that are received on the exceptions rather than having to key them in one line item at a time. There's also an audit receive items window in case you want to go in and review what you've received on a purchase order prior to saving it and having it updated in Sage 50. There's also the ability to do blind receiving on the handheld device. You can set the number of decimal positions on the handheld to be the number of decimal positions that you've determined inside Sage 50. And the options that you have for scanning barcodes are you can scan the SKU slash UPC code or you can receive a barcode for the item ID or you can scan and use the part number that's been recorded on the individual inventory items in the maintain inventory item window. Into the easy scan at software, you can look your purchase orders up by vendor and then only the purchase orders for that vendor would then be available to be selected. Or you can look your purchase orders up 
sequentially by PO number. If you record a receiver number inside the EasyScanit software, that transfers to the invoice field inside Sage 50. And each received purchase order is automatically tagged waiting on a bill from the vendor. You can record notes about a purchase order, and those are internal notes and vendor notes, and I'll show you in just a moment. And you can actually view the detail including the extended description for each line item included on a purchase order. We work with purchase order number 1035 that we created just a few minutes ago. And you'll notice each of the line items that we created on the purchase order are also listed on our handheld software. And if we go down to the very bottom, there's the item that we added. Again, if I wish, I can key in a receiver number and that transfers to the invoice number field and those are tagged waiting on a bill from the vendor. I can receive all the items and you'll notice that the quantity received column now gets populated equal to the quantity that's actually open on the purchase order. We also show the original quantity that's on the purchase order as well as quantities that have been received prior to this receipt. If I want to look at the detailed the extended description of an item, I can click on the items field. And at this point, if I wanted, I could even change the quantity that's received. I can scroll back and forth between the items on my purchase order using these arrow keys found at the bottom of this window. When I save and exit, you'll notice that the line item has a zero quantity received. If I wanted, I could actually update my quantity received right on this screen. Likewise, I can put vendor notes and internal notes just like I can inside Sage 50. These notes then get transferred over at the point where the receipt is recorded. If I wish, I can do an audit on the line items that are on this purchase order. We can also take a look at PO number 1036 that we've received. At this time, we're not going to receive it. We're going to go ahead and allow this one to remain open. And also, if I look for purchase order number 1003, you'll notice that it's not available on the list. That's the PO that we decided that we no longer needed. So we just want to go ahead and we close that purchase order inside Sage 50. And because it's considered a closed purchase order, it's no longer available to be received on the handheld. Back into Sage 50. And you'll notice the purchase order number 1035 that we received has been received all the line items just like we did in the handheld and the one that's still open is the second line item which we chose to receive zero quantities. The transaction is tagged waiting on a bill and when I'm ready I can remove that switch and put my invoice number in and now it becomes an available payable and you'll notice in our note box, the vendor note says, the vendor ordered this on Friday, and the internal note says, please deliver this to the back door. This is Jennifer O'Brien, and I hope this has been helpful and gives you an understanding of the features of the EasyScanit software available for Sage 50. You can call our office at 800-475-1047 or shoot us an email solutions at jcscomputer.com. We'd love to help you with your Sage 50 accounting needs, inventory and job costing. Those are our sweet spots. Call us if there's anything we can do to help. Thanks for joining and have a great afternoon.